Welcome back to the Virtual Why, everyone. My name is Linda, and this is our slow climb today. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. All right, guys, it's time for that slow climb. Safety clip first, safety first, clip it on. Make sure you've got it on there. Go ahead and go ahead and grab your handrails. Press the feet one at a time and let's increase our speed. So we wanna get a good speed. So if you remember uh, from the two videos ago, from the last video, your groove speed, I like to call it your groove. It's kind of that one you can do for a long period of time. Find that groove speed. It may change as we increase our um, hill and we increase our climb. So make sure that if you're feeling like you're having to be bent over to try to keep up with that hill, feel free to slow down the speed and just increase because um, what we're going for is the climb. All right, it's all about the climb. So go ahead, start to slowly increase the speed. We've got about a minute and then every minute after we're gonna do for 20 minutes, we've got an increase in our um, incline. So if you don't know where that's at, if you don't go back to our first video that tells you kind of how to set up the treadmill and the safety of the treadmill, always, always beneficial before you start a workout. All right. So find your groove speed. Once you're there, we've got about 30 seconds. Just get your legs ready and warmed up. Feel free to take those breaths in and out, finding that groove. And then relax through the shoulders, posture check, pull that string out of the top of your head. Make sure you're walking with that strike of the heel, rolling up to the toes. So that rolling method, heel to toe. Great job. We've got about 10 more seconds. Again, if you need a longer warm up, feel free to pause the video and just have a longer about five to 10 minute warm up. Okay. You can go back to video one and kind of work through that as well. All right. First incline, I'm going at a 0.5. So it is, like I said, if we've got 20 minutes, which means we've got about 20 different times we're going to take up. So half, half a percent is perfectly fine. You're at your groove speed, feeling a little bit of that incline, probably not a lot able to speak, able to have a conversation, but and definitely able to keep your posture. So I like to call sometimes they don't need a warm up for this because that first part of the climb is our warm up. We're at that groove speed. We're doing well. All right, guys, remember every minute we go up, we take a deep breath in. Go ahead. If you want, you can feel free to watch or listen to music as you're doing this. We're going to put music with this. So feel free to listen to that music. I've got some really good music to put with this. So if you want to take a step and guess what? First minute is done. Let's increase it again. I'm going up to 1%. Shoulders are down and back. I'm feeling that stride. Now, this is where you can say, maybe I can increase my speed just a little bit. I'm feeling like feeling strong. I'm feeling like I can keep up with this at this incline. And you can always, like I said, readjust. So I'm gonna increase my speed a little bit and really start to challenge. Again, this is a slow climb. It's something that is gonna get your body used to that um, incline and then take it up again and get your body used to that part. And then again and again and again. And we'll see how we do. Always trying to keep those feet centered in the middle of that treadmill, trying not to walk too far back on your treadmill, keeping up, especially as we incline, we're gonna wanna try to back off. So try to keep close, take that breath in. We're almost done with the second one. In four, three, two, one, and increase. We're at 1.5. Starting to really feel that incline. Now, when we get to the top of that hill, you're gonna really start to feel it. But right now, just enjoy, enjoy the climb. Breathing in through the nose finding those arms. Now, if you are brand new, okay, so we're going to go back brand new to treadmill, brand new to walking and, and doing a treadmill workout, feel free to use the hand grips. Okay. Feel free to keep that on, keep your balance, especially if you've got balance issues or the guardrails on the side. Okay. Either one, or if you're ready to go, bring the hands, shoulder, what I like to call athletic arms, shoulder to hip and use that as momentum. And then just checking the speed. Are you feeling like your heart rate is up? Do you have your heart rate monitor on? It's a great way to kind of track that heart rate and see if we can push into that aerobic level. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, time's up again. Let's turn it up. We're at 2%, guys. 
this is where you should be starting to feel like, okay, that treadmill is, is on an incline. It's not too heavy yet, not too crazy. I'm gonna actually increase my speed a little bit. This is your workout. I tell everybody, do what feels challenging, but doable. We want you to be successful. And this is a longer one than the previous videos. This is our 20 minute slow climb. So take your time. We've got some other videos coming up that'll be a little more advanced. And so we wanna really just push this. Now, if 20 minutes isn't long enough, feel free to change the duration. Feel free to make it longer, make it 60 minutes and climb for 60 minutes or 45 or 30, whatever that looks like for you. All right, guys, guess what? We're going up again, 2.5. Now's the time to really focus, okay? You're gonna start to feel, again, a little more of that incline, really having to take that stride and step and really focus on that flow of heel to toe, having those flexible shoes so that you can work through that stride. I don't know about you, my heart rate's going up. I can feel it. I'm having to breathe a little bit more. I'm using those arms, pumping those arms to really find that groove, right? Even though I'm at my groove pace, that incline really changes up. Again, the workout it begins to challenge the body because maybe I haven't done this in a while or ever, right? I haven't been hiking outside or anything like that. So we've got 10 more seconds. Now at any time, any time, remember if your feet start to back off a little bit, feel free to slow it down, turn it up. 3%. All right, find that new incline, it slowly goes up. Kind of feel it out a little bit. Can you maintain this for 60 seconds? Again, speed versus climb. It's that fine tune of what is challenging my body. I'm not only keeping my pace, but I'm increasing my incline of the treadmill and seeing if I can do both without backing off on my speed. If you need to though, feel free. All right, posture check. Are we still nice and tall or are we hunching over? Even if you're holding onto the handrails, make sure your shoulders are down and back. Legs, knees are soft walking through. Great job, guys. In four, three, two. Are you ready to go up again? All right, let's go. 3.5. Starting to feel the strength now. Core muscles are engaging. Feeling that incline. You've got this, guys. Breathe in and out. Be able to keep that same pace, find the center of that belt, and just climb. You're gonna to start to feel the quads. You're gonna feel a little more of the hamstrings and glutes as we increase. So use that, draw the core, which just, just means, right, engage it. Allow, put your mind to your muscle, your core muscles, and engage. We've got 10 more seconds and we go up again. Are we starting to feel a little more winded? That's okay. Breathing in and out. All right, let's go up again. We are at 4.0. Again, if that pace is hard to keep, if you feel like you're having to like really start to climb, feel free to slow down the pace and continue with the climb. Because right now it's a combination of both and that's okay until we get to those harder inclines. Eyes up, chest lifted, good. Eyes forward, you got this. Who's with me? All right, it gets you through where you can't walk outside, right? This is kind of one of those days where you wanna be inside but still get a really good workout like you were outside. 10 more seconds. Who's ready to challenge? All right, in four, three, two, one. Let's take it up. 
All right, I'm gonna start to decrease just a little, decrease my speed so I, I can continue through the workout. We are halfway, guys, halfway. Now, as we start to incline, you're gonna to start to feel the back of your legs, okay? You're gonna to start to feel really the hamstrings, the glutes, okay? This is what the hill climb really starts to activate some of that back end and behind those legs. So use them. Bend the knees, stepping forward, finding that stride, breathing in. I'm always gonna cue you to breathe because I don't want you to hold your breath. As things get tough, we start to like shrink up our shoulders. We start to hold our breath a little more and then we start to get tired. So we wanna use that breath in four, three, two, one, up to five. Here we go. Great job, guys. Keeping that speed or pace. Walking, climbing, activating not only the core, but the hamstrings, the glutes. Posture. All right. Breathe in, breathe out. Listen to some really motivating music. Like I said, listen to that beat. It's a strong beat. One, two, one, two, one, two. Find that rhythm that keeps you motivated to keep you climbing. This is where you really gotta focus on having that mind over your muscle, mind over the breathing, mind over the body, and allow yourself to continue to climb. All right, let's go up again. 5.5. Great job, guys. All right, breathing is a little more intense now. I can feel it in the legs. I can feel the climb. Again, always being aware, can I maintain the speed? Okay, if you can, if you're feeling like you're sacrificing your form, just turn down the speed and continue the climb. If you can keep that beat, if you can keep that one, two, one, two, one, two, right? Keep it going. It is a great workout, one, because we don't do it every day. We do a lot of flat walking, right? A lot of walking without hills. So that when your body, or when you do something different, that benefit of it goes up, right? So it's good. It doesn't have to be high intensity every single day or heavy weight lifting every single day. All right, let's take it up again. 6.0. Take some time to really focus on that breathing. Okay, breathing is your friend. <laughs> you want to be able to breathe correctly. So inhale, exhale through the mouth. Relax through the shoulders and then at, use those arms to climb. Great job, how are we feeling? So far so good, we're doing great guys. We are over half getting into that last third of our workout. The hardest part, the hardest part, but you can do this. 10 more seconds. Two, one, let's go. Push that button, 6.5. All right, guys. Now look at my legs. Am I still walking in that heel to toe flow? Heel, toe, heel, toe. One, two, one, two. Great job. Knees are bent, really going up that hill. Now, if you're saying right now, my knees are killing me, maybe this is your peak, okay? I want you to be successful. So if this is your peak, just stay here. Don't do the increases when we come to the increases. Feel free if this is your new and first time, maybe you go up to this peak and now you're just gonna reverse ladder it down. So as we continue to go up, you're gonna start to come down. All right, let's turn it up. 
Great job, guys. We've got five left, okay? Five increases left. We can do this. Checking speed, checking form, relaxing through the shoulders. You're gonna hear me say that a lot, especially as we climb. I've got my safety on, everybody got their safety clip on. Always safety first. If at any time you feel like your legs are gonna give out on you, okay? Grab, hit the safety button, okay? Always safety first. Feel like we need a climbing song. Anybody with me? It's all about the climb. All right, here we go. Take it up. Four left, four intervals left. Can we do this? I believe in you. Take that breath. Breathe in. I want not just shallow breathing. We do a lot of shallow breathing. So I want you to really take the time in through the nose, fill the lungs, feel those lungs expand and then slowly let it out. And as you're letting it out, relax through your neck, a lack, relax through your shoulders and continue to climb. You got this. Using those arms for momentum, engaging the core to keep those legs moving. We've got a nice at the end, cool down and stretch. So after every video this week or whenever you take it, go back and find the cool down and stretch. It's a great way to finish out and round out each day's workout. All right, up again. We are at 8% incline. Woo! Anybody? Sometimes you just gotta get a good woo out to breathe. Good. Bending my knees, I'm really using my quads, hamstrings and glutes finding that nice, strong stride. Okay, not over striding, of course. Find the control and then use those arms. We're getting closer. It's in the home stretch. I almost see the top of this mountain or hill or Everest climb. Again, if you're at the end of this workout in a few, we've got, like I said, four more. Three more, three more, I think. At the end of this, if you wanna to continue to climb, if you're like, I'm feeling good, I've done this before, I'm getting ready to climb Mount Everest, <laughs> feel free to do that. Breathe, breathe, breathe. There's other ways too, like stairs. Running stairs or walking up stairs, flights of stairs, great compliment to a class like this. Good, turn it up. A little late on that one, all right. Here we go. We've got three, so two more after this. We're at 8.5. Anybody who's wanting and has a monitor and knows where their incline is. 8.5, I'm keeping steady at my groove pace. Okay. 20 more seconds of this one. And we go up twice, two more. So go up for another minute and one more, and then we cool down. Breathing in, breathing out. Arms are engaged, pulling that string again. Legs are flowing. Good. Music's rocking. All right, up again. Our final one, we are at 9.0, oh, and I can feel it. Do you guys feel this? Woo! All right, stay with me. Challenge that body. Mind over legs right now. Mind over legs. Breathe in. Use that breath to keep climbing. Use those arms. Pump. One, two, one, two, one, two. You got it. 15 more seconds. Last 15. Does anybody want to try 10? Do we wanna take it all the way to a 10 incline? All right, this is for you, my 10 people out there. In three, two, we are not going to nine and a half, we're going to 10. Let's see, see how it feels. Woo! 
All right, looking good. Now my monitor says we've done a mile. Okay, it may not seem like much, but we climbed. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Good job, guys. Go ahead and slowly bring that incline down. Take a breath in, hold on to the handrails if you're feeling off balance. Grab that decline. Going down nice and slowly. You're like, this is way easier going down. <laughs> Great job. I'm breathing. Anybody else sweating? Breathing. Five seconds. Five, four, three. Now, remember after each one, especially like a workout like that, you can continue and keep climbing or bring it all the way down. Slow your speed down. Continue to breathe. Stay on just for a second. Allow your body to readjust to the the flat road again, which feels so easy, right? Allow your body to slow down. And when you're ready, feel free to click over to the cool down and stretch. Take some time to stretch those muscles that we just worked, especially in the legs. You're gonna wanna take that time. So keep moving, join us tomorrow.